Well, I think, you know, some of it, the answer is covered by, you know, I wanted to slightly redesign the way, I, I'm not Jamaican, I'm West African, by, by, but I grew up around Jamaicans, my auntie, some of my cousins are Jamaicans, and, you know, I just, you know, generally, characters in films, black films, black culture, you know, we tend to go for the violence, tend to go for the most traumatic parts, you know. And of course, you know, these films can be compelling, but they also seem, seem to, you know, paint a bleak picture. The book is a genre book, you know, it's a gangster film. I love gangster films, like Amel. We grew up on, you know, Scorsese work and all those type of films, but I wanted to, I think the opportunity here was to try and make this feel different you know yes it is a gangster film there is a gangster character in it but you know this was an opportunity to put a different lens on it you know what i'm saying it's an opportunity to put a different lens on jamaica and jamaican culture and what was interesting about you know we love everyone love reggae music you love reggae music reggae music <laughs> reggae music takes a big um big share of the film you know is a, is a real big component you know and what I've been finding from you know, people that have seen the film is that when they see the film, they hear the music, they go back and listen to reggae music a little bit differently mm. because they've got a little bit deeper under the skin of the culture and the people involved. You know? um, so as an actor, I'm always very much trying to get films that you know, take me away from me. But this film is closer to me. You know, I DJ most of my life. Uh, like I said, I have you know Jamaican family and and and, and a love for Jamaica, and it was an opportunity to do something that was closer to me, you know, make something that was closer to me. The sh the streets that we you know shot most of our film in London were streets that I grew up on, you know. In the eighties, you know, characters like D were all over my hood. I know these people, you know what I'm saying. So it was really like, let me do something that is closer to my bones, you know.